on making pastel chalks for Barbie dolls. These are all the supplies you'll need. You'll need a ruler to measure with, a glue stick, little clips, scissors, and some pieces of paper in the colors you want the chalks in. I cut them at three quarters of an inch by a quarter inch, and that works well for me, but if you want to make it for a different type of doll, just um, make sure you have them all the same length. The first step is hardest because you'll be using thick paper, that's what I'm using, and I suggest you use it too because it will make your pastel sturdier when you're finished. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the outside edges, fold them to the center, and then fold everything in half. I've already done it on this one, and it's probably a little bit hard to see, but I have folded the edges to the center, and I folded it in half, but I've unfolded it a little bit so you can see how I did it. Just in case my instructions before weren't clear enough. Okay, now I have all my little pieces folded. I'm going to stick glue in the crease and hold them together with my little clips until they dry. I sort of ran out of little clips to hold all my chalks together, so I'm going to have to do it in two batches. And I mean, if it happens on your end too, you can do the same thing. Now that the glue is done drying, you could add pastel on the outside by rubbing a pastel chalk and then spraying it with hairspray, but I don't really have time for it, so I'm going to leave mine as is. Also, if the ends are uneven, you can just chop the ends off to make them nice and flat. As a bonus craft, you can use a plastic bag and tacky glue to make a art pouch to hold your new chalks. I'm going to start by cutting off some of the band up here to make it thinner because if it's too thick, it'll look unrealistic next to your Barbie doll. Now I'm gonna cut just a little bit away from the edge of the bag, around here, to make it small enough for a Barbie doll to hold her chalks. Cut it just a little longer than you want it, then cut across the bottom. Hold the ragged edges inside the bag and glue it shut. Once again, I'm going to suggest that you use your clippies to hold the glue together while it dries. This is a very, very useful thing to do. And since you can't fold this side in due to the inflexibility of the zipper, just tape together as is. 